Hi. Welcome to Future Fast. Future Fast is a platform wherein uh, traditionally we have conversation with people who are working on impacting the future. And uh, here and today, I'm here to uh, talk about uh, why we are doing Future Fast. And uh, also, I'm going to make an attempt at making uh, my predictions on the future. So, to start with, uh, Yes, it's a monologue, so I'll keep it short, right? So future fast. See, I think uh, future is changing at a rapid pace uh, compared to any other point of time in the history, right? And uh, 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 most of us uh, who have uh, come through, you know, who grew up in the 90s uh, have uh, seen possibly the things that change at a pace uh, uh, which... Uh, very few of us could even imagine. And uh, going forward, uh, uh, you know, we are uh, at a multiple cusp of uh, change, right? We have gone through the points of time where people were saying that, okay, this is going to change the generation and we are going to have a generation of idiots referring to TV as idiot modes, right? So, so uh, uh, you know, and uh, most of us didn't do so bad uh, considering that uh, we grew up with uh, TV and... Uh, starting from one channel to 10, 20, hundreds of channels, and uh, uh, we survived. And it is like, uh, you know, if you uh, look up the philosophers and uh, influential thinkers of the time when uh, books started coming in, uh, it would be shocking to see that most of them said that books are going to make people mad, right? So, and uh, likewise today, uh, most of us, our generation, right? We, we tend to say that, uh, uh, our next generation who are uh, digital native generation, right? Who are growing up with uh, phones. Uh, and uh, many, many, I mean, it's a common thing to say, uh, perhaps, you know, many of us are saying that uh, this generation is getting so addicted to tele mobile phones and content uh, through the phone and they are on digital social media all the time. And, uh, and uh, uh, you know, we tend to express our fear for the future. So, so idea here is that, uh, see, perhaps we have to let go our baggage of, uh, of uh, from where we came in and uh, start suspecting everything, right? That is one aspect. And second thing is uh, that uh, we probably have to start seeing it differently. As in, uh, uh, as in to say that, uh, you know, the future is going to be different and it is natural and obvious. But uh, how is it going to be different? And uh, since our starting points are different, instead of trying to uh, coach and express fear and trying to stop the next generation, can we go along with them? You know, we don't have a choice. We have to go along with them and explore the changes uh, along with them, probably with our own filter rather than baggage, right? So that's the whole idea. And uh, so essentially to say that Future Fast is not to bring in any sense of fear of the future, but uh, to explore the possibilities of uh, opening up opportunities of the future. So that's the very attempt we are trying to make. And uh, in the course, we also encourage uh, uh, people to come up and uh, uh, you know share what they're doing, how are they preparing, what are the biggest fears of the future, and uh, uh, what are they working on, and what technologies are they working towards uh, you know, building a capacity and uh, how do they think that's going to change uh, their businesses, the lives, the society, the world, everything, as we know, right? And uh, that impacts us. So that is what is an exercise herein. And also, uh, in the course, we try to get them to make predictions. And uh, uh, so here it is. Uh, so towards that, uh, um, my name is Najunda. I'm a co-founder of Nija. And uh, uh, we... Uh, we started Nija, we are working towards uh, basically uh, driving a distributed economy and we believe tokenization is the way to not only create uh, value and wealth, but also realize it. So that is uh, the uh, uh, that is where we are so excited about the future and with blockchain and uh, with tokenization and uh, obviously with distributed economy. So Having said that, uh, here are uh, my attempts. And uh, one is uh, 
perhaps those who know me have heard it from me for a long time that in the transport, I've been saying it for about five, seven years now that uh, uh, I think last I said about seven years ago, first time I said that uh, 30 years from now, we will not be owning cars, right? Uh, I, I, uh, and uh, so today, if I have to repeat it, uh, it would be, it should be about 20 to 23 years from now. Uh, we will not be owning cars. Uh, we will possibly go to an arena like uh, how Equestrian is done today, you know, go wear the gears and ride a horse. That's how it will be. Go to an arena, wear the gear, drive a car. So uh, so that is how uh, the transportation will be. And to that effect, the uh, world is changing and world is changing so fast uh, that uh, for many of us, it is uh, shocking because we are all planning what is the next car that we are buying, including myself, having despite all this argument. Uh, so, uh, so that is where it is. So the world is really changing and uh, the whole aspect is that we are going to be part of it whether we like it or not. But are we part of it from a point of impacting on it positively, influencing by trying to take more people along with us? Or, or we'll just be bystanders and uh, creep and complain about it. So uh, that is what it is. And uh, so we'll try to come back again and uh, share one more prediction uh, for the next time. Until then, uh, I really appreciate uh, you taking time to uh, subscribe to Future Fast, either on video or audio on any of the platforms, and also on our website. And uh, also appreciate uh, or welcome your questions, if you have any. And uh, also appreciate if you could uh, refer or recommend people who you think are uh, contributing to the future through the work they're doing or uh, impacting the future by doing whatever they're doing, right? Thank you so much and have a good time.